Hello, welcome back to another video and the series where I ride the National Cycle Network. Back on Route 1, this time heading northbound from Colchester to Ipswich. So the first few miles of this route is going to be getting through Colchester, uh, just through like residential areas, the town centre, and then eventually be going into sort of uh, the countryside through little villages as we snake our way up to Ipswich. So I've just got to uh, a place called High Woods Country Park, it's in like sort of the north of Colchester. So I've made my way through town um, and yeah, I'm just going to point out two things really right now. So this part and the town part of the route, uh, there's lots of options and it's for like two reasons really. I think the first is like it's sort of your comfort level. Do you want to be near cars and stuff and people or do you not? And also, uh, particularly with the town part, it's because if you are going to be with cars and on the road, it's because the streets are sort of one way. Out in the country lanes now, so north of Colchester, um, so far I've probably done about a third or coming up to a third of what I believe I've got planned to do today um, which is so far in nine miles that itself is quite a lot to get through well from one side of Colchester to the other like Colchester isn't that big of a town but you know the route that was taken to get through town from the west to sort of the northeast of the town uh, yeah I understand why they do it you know, I've been barely near any cars or anyone, and I guess that is the aim of the National Cycle Network overall. Right, so it looks like I've just stopped here in the middle of nowhere, but it's not uh, just in that direction where I've just come from. Uh, is Stratford St Mary, like a little village that is on the border of Suffolk and Essex. And I just wanted to stop and just uh, warn people that are going to do this route, especially northbound. Um, when it comes to just before that, there's a hill called Gun Hill. Uh, it's not very long, but it's quite steep. Um, so yeah, and you can pick up a bit of speed while going down it. So yeah, just to be a bit wary, just be a bit careful. Um, especially, I have passed someone who is like carrying lots of bags on their bike, which I know from my experience with, yeah, certain bags on bikes and being quite heavy, steering stuff is quite hard. So yeah, so just be a bit careful, a bit wary of that when you're doing that.
So I've zigzagged my way through Hadley and now I'm on this sort of gravel trail that I'm guessing probably used to be some sort of railway just from the, what I can like see of it and stuff. But yeah, I believe this now just takes me in like an easterly direction to Ipswich for most of the remaining of the journey that I'm doing today. Sorry about the wind, I'll try and keep it short and sweet. If you're riding this route and you've never rode in Suffolk, just a bit of advice, okay? The lanes can be quite thin, quite narrow. So, you know, just be a bit wary of the blind corners, uh, the stuff on the road. You do tend to get a bit of like gravel and dirt and stuff in the middle of the road, in the small narrow lanes. And uh, yeah, just yeah, take it easy. Take care of yourself while you're riding through it. I'm coming into the heart of Ipswich now. Um, yeah, it's been a great route. Um, haven't got long to go, probably about a mile. But yeah, no, nah, been a good route. A lot, lot of mixture of a lot of things. Um, you know, not too hard, not too easy. Signage ain't been too bad. But yeah, almost there. 